Yo, happy day, friends. Happy day. God's good. Jesus is with us. It's a good day to be alive. Um, hey, I've been doing some uh, some pretty small chunks of scripture. Um, those will continue, but uh, last night I was at Life Group and I uh, got lit up by this text uh, in 2 Chronicles. And so it's 2 Chronicles chapter 20. I'm only going to read you a few verses, but uh, crack open your Bible when you're done with this. Uh, and read the whole story in context. Basically, God comes to this prophet and gives him this word that God's with him and that the battle is the Lord's. And so I'm going to pick it up and read a few verses here in verse 15. Again, 2 Chronicles 20, verse 15. He said, this is the prophet speaking, Listen, King Jehoshaphat and all who live in Judah and Jerusalem, this is what the Lord says to you. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army. For the battle is not yours, but God's. Tomorrow, march down against them. They will be climbing up the pass of Ziz, and you will find them at the end of the gorge. You will not have to fight this battle. Rather, take up your position, stand firm, and see the deliverance the Lord will give you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Go out and face them, for the Lord is is with you and so whatever's going on in your life today man i want to put this text in front of you and ask do you actually believe that not only that the lord's with you but the battle is the lord's whatever he's put in front of you whatever challenge you don't have to make something up and just figure it out all you have to do is walk with him out of this basic understanding that man the king of the universe is with me he's called me into this fight and he will deliver me not only me but the armies around me you know, maybe there's something going on at your workplace. Maybe something in your neighborhood. Here's the deal, friends. God is with you, and the battle is His. So take this text. I want you to read it. Again, it's 2 Chronicles 20. And ask the Lord, hey, God, how can I actually stand and believe this? Well, that sun is hot. You know, how do I actually take this text and apply it to my life? Like, today. Not like, yeah, that's good. I kind of believe that. No, like, man, maybe you can declare this over some situation or something you got going on. Maybe you can, uh, uh, you know, share it with a spouse, a friend, whatever that thing is. But actually do something in applying it to your life so that the Word of God can actually get activated and we can get our lives transformed. All right, friends. Thanks for checking in. I know it's a longer one. 2 Chronicles 20. Check it out. Boom.